Hello and welcome back from me, Admiral, joining me back on Star Trek Fleet Command once again. Uh, just a quick one on the events before we head into today's video, uh, which will be about a little bit of news and my sort of pro progress this month. Um, next video on Star Trek will be to do with crews of varying capabilities. So we're going to look into the lower deck crews uh, and what certain basically milestones mean to the, the ships. And then we'll talk a little bit about um, the actual main bridge crew itself, as well as, you know, going into PVP or PVE style gameplay. That'll be coming in the next, the next video and probably the one after that, and maybe even the one after that. Um, but certainly the next two videos will be them. But for the time being, the events that we have at the moment are going to be the usual. We've got the daily, obviously, ticket one, as well as a few others. Um, and then we have the strange new Scyther that you need to work out yourself. I haven't done it because I just haven't really played this arc whatsoever. But the two different Cyphers, so we've got Cypher number one, which is the so the first, first one of the two. Um the answers to them are Donfo, Boniv, uh, Mesadin, and Volta. They're the different, the four different places. And then number f the, the one, the latest cipher that you need to do is going to be Alana, uh, Zozalin, uh, Sikwagor, and Orion. Okay, so I mean, if you do, if you want to know that, because I, I imagine you're not going to be able to spell any of that or get anything from what I just said. Head over to my Discord, link is down below. All the answers are in my Discord, so do that and you'll find them there. So the big news that came to yesterday, sorry. The big news is that finally incursions went well, supposedly on the APAC servers. Um, the only thing to take from that is the APAC servers obviously have much, much less people on them compared to the US and the EU servers. I imagine today's one, which is should have been the US one today, I imagine that'll be the big test because that they are they have the most servers and the most population base on them. So I imagine that'll be the big one today and see how that sort of went. Uh, but yeah, apparently there's, the, obviously the APAC one went well, everyone else should be getting theirs. So the US today and then the EU servers, which will be my server, for example, will be tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday the 20th uh, but yeah so they gave us a little bit of an update of, about how things were going um, and then it just say, basically goes on we were rotating which server receives the pass each time we run incursions to ensure everyone over time gets the same amount of incursion events uh, servers who will sit in the incursions this round slash week are below um Yada, yada, yada. Doesn't really go much else into it other than that. Um, but yeah, so incursions, we'll see what it's like. Hopefully it doesn't lag everything out to the high heavens like last time. And hopefully it goes a bit smoother than last time. Uh, I, I mean, I, am I going to be taking part in it? Probably not. I'm not a PvP style player. I really don't. I'm I'm not really interested in that type of thing. Um so yeah, it's it's one of them where it's it's a case of I hope everyone has fun with it. I will be monitoring it for sure, but will I take much part in it? Probably not. It, overall, it, not not because it's not a good event. I think it is a good event and it's certainly a, an event in the right direction. For sure. Um, they should be integrating the servers more in terms of events and sort of different competitions. And that's definitely a good thing, in my opinion. I'm just not that type of player. And, and certainly this month, sort of the game's really... Well, there's not just this month, but the last two months, uh, as everyone's aware, the game's really took it out of me. And uh, I'm sort of... I'm a bit disheartened by the game at the moment. So I'm just really... Not, I, I am doing it. I am playing on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm still doing my tickets to get, obviously, the battle pass and stuff like that. As you can see, I'm a little bit behind because I forgot to cash in my last one on 
two days ago's events. I forgot to cash in the last one. So I'm about 6,000 points behind where I should be. But overall, I'm still going to get the full 20 and I'm still doing my daily stuff. Uh, so like all this, the only things I'm not doing are basically the extra stuff uh, at this end, essentially. Uh, essentially, I'm not doing that. I haven't done any of this as of yet. Um, I mean, I could go and do this. It won't take too long to do, if I'm honest. However, I mean, the rewards are not too bad, to be fair. I mean, the rewards are pretty decent. And you do get the strange tokens as well. The rewards are pretty good. You get a lot of par steel from that. And you get a decent amount of tritanium as well. So I might go and do it just for the sake of them resources. Um, because I still, like I say, I'm still progressing in the game. Uh, it's just, like I said, at a very slow manner right now. The other thing that I've, I want to point out, I don't know if anyone else is having the same issues as me, um, but none of these are disappearing anymore. It's kind of annoying. So when you click on, obviously, everything, it has, obviously, a, a little indication saying that something in that tab needs clicking. And I don't really want it to appear every single time. It's very, very annoying uh, having the constant numbers there and having these numbers there and it's just highly annoying, and I feel like they just they need to get they need to get rid of it. And somehow, if you just click on these, just that allows you to get rid of it or something. I don't know, but there's other games that allow you to get rid of stuff or hide stuff, and I feel like it'd be much much better, much cleaner display. For sure, it's like when it comes to the missions. Obviously, the away teams refreshes, and then it comes up every single time with nine new refresh, and it's like yeah, but I don't I don't care about them, so stop showing me. And telling me that I need to do stuff. Oh, it's finally worked. There we go. So they might have updated it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, might have been part of today's update, actually. I'm moaning about it, but it might have been part of today's update. Because I've just updated the game prior to the, doing this video. So maybe that was part of it. Um, but yeah, in terms of the events, what what have, what have we got? What's different to the, the last events that we've just done? Uh, absolutely nothing. So these are just copy and paste events basically from the last arc um, for sure. Nothing's changed whatsoever. Um, so we've got to hit, well, you don't have to hit sw um, swarms or borgs, should I say, borg probes. <clears throat> you don't have to hit them because you can hit any ship technically with them. But if you want to get this, this ability, technically, again, you don't have to. You just need to equip these officers on your bridge and you can go and hit as far as I'm a oh no you have to destroy one Borg with this officer so you have to definitely hit Borg so if we go to Una for example which is going to be your lead for this sort of character this is what I want to point out where they need to sort of work on these events a little um I'm trying to be not you okay go away go away Morale. I'm trying to be a little bit positive because I know I know everything's new and stuff like that to the game. But if we go to Una, for example, so we get her in our officer slot. So when fighting hostiles, Una increases the base weapons damage by 100%. Okay, that will definitely work if she's the officer of the uh, if she's the officer on deck. Most likely, she's not going to be because of the way that obviously you're going to want other officers as the captain. I would imagine. Um, maybe like a pike and Monroe, and then maybe using Hurt in replace of Chen or something on the lines of that. That might be useful. Uh, increases impulse so even faster than before. So useful but not relevant or pr pro prudent to interceptors in general. And then you go to the land, whatever the land, uh, and then again her abilities. Nothing is it the land that's. The, up for this one i think it's isn't it Lalana? oh no it's ortegas sorry i'm looking at the wrong character sorry about that so you got defensive claws when fighting hostiles yeah uh, ortegas increases critical hit chance against hostiles again not going to have as the officer but a secondary ability is pretty decent you could put her instead of probably in the monroe that'll be a decent one to swap out there um however it does <laughs> this is where it gets uh interesting should i say the least so when you're hitting the borgs you're going to want to hit them with the vidar and her ability only works on explorers from a black battleship so it's not going to work it doesn't make any sense to why you have to hit borg 
Uh, this this ability would make more sense if you had to go and hit, say, swarms, because at least they're, they're not even swarms because they're interceptors. Um, what's what's an explorer? I don't even know in terms of that stuff. Um, so yeah, it, it doesn't really make sense in terms of this event. And then the last officer that we've got, I should just click left, but never mind. A horror. And there, again, you're not probably going to use a captain. But a second one, again, you're going to use, or you're going to want to use her for this event in particular. Uh, predominantly because obviously she gives you the bonus against battleship from interceptors. And last time I was aware, I'm pretty sure the Borg's probes, Jesus, lots of different uh, sayings here. So if we go to the Borg systems, Borg probes, I believe, act as battleships. They do, yes. I am correct in saying that. So you're going to want to fit a horror really to this this mission to get it done, which kind of does, that one's the only one that really makes sense. The other ones don't make sense at all. And yet the thing that gets me is you're going to want to fit a horror and yet she gets the lowest amount of points out of all three of them. And granted, it's the same as Ortegas, but she should be the highest because at the end of the day, you're going to be wanting to use her to do this event unless you're going to hit anything. And then it doesn't really matter um, in terms of the event. But overall, at least they've sort of lined it up slightly. But it basically, all the events are copy and paste from last month's events, um, which, in my opinion, is a bit lazy. But yeah, that's today. Uh, hopefully, it's been somewhat interesting. It was mainly about the incursions and just my thoughts about the current events at the moment. Please leave your thoughts down below what you think. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next videos to come, which will be to do with the cruise lower deck. And then we're going to go on to more bridge cruise. Uh, other than that, see you next time. Fly safe. Bye-bye for now.